in the Bay of Naples in Italy, lies a buried ancient wonder, Herculaneum, a Roman town that sits in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius. In 79 AD, this fiery giant erupts, destroying this town and its neighbor, Pompeii. Today, Pompeii is world famous, but Herculaneum, in comparison, is unknown. Beneath these modern streets lies a lost world. Buried under 75 feet of volcanic material, a town frozen in time for nearly 2,000 years. Roads crisscross the ghost town, flanked on each side by the scorched remains of shops, bars, and homes. But in its prime, its streets are colorful and vibrant. This is a town home to over 4,000 people. But just four miles to the east, the sleeping volcano, Vesuvius. Can new discoveries here give us fresh insight into the terrifying eruption? The town covers an area the size of 30 football fields. But three quarters of it remains buried. Andrew Wallace Hadrill is director of the Herculaneum Conservation Project. He investigates the final hours of this extraordinary town. Herculaneum was destroyed in the same eruption as Pompeii. But unlike Pompeii, the quality of preservation here is quite exceptional. Herculaneum is a volcanic time capsule. It is preserved in a flash, burying clues that can now reveal exactly what happens when Vesuvius erupts. Look at the height to which this house is preserved. There are upper floors there. In Pompeii, upper floors are mostly completely destroyed. And then there's woodwork. Look at this wooden screen going across. The preservation of this wooden screen is extraordinary. It's not just buildings that are frozen in time here. Inside the buildings, archaeologists discover thousands of objects. One of the rarest things about Herculaneum is the survival of wooden furniture. Here we've got a bed, wonderful sort of chest of drawers, and here's a very moving thing, a cradle. The baby was lying in the cradle when they, when they found it. Excavators also find remains of food. Here are some figs. Herculaneum was famous for its figs. You can almost nibble at them. And here, this is my favorite, a loaf of bread, and it comes from the baker, ready scored for bread.